industry, like the media industry especially, you're going to be facing a lot of criticism and not that much appreciation. We give too much power to people's opinions on the way something is looking as opposed to what it actually stands for or means or anything like that. We're very used to seeing all the heroes and all the men in India with like nice physiques and muscles and stuff. So I find it extremely funny when they tell me that just because I'm a woman with muscles that I look manly. So my response to so many of these guys has just been like, so you're telling me if I'm a woman with muscles, I become manly. What is a man without muscles? A woman? Casting directors have given me crap also for working out. And that used to be a huge disadvantage to me when I started out. So many casting agencies told me this. They would come up to me like, you have to stop coloring your hair like this and stop getting tattoos. And please start dressing like this. And I was like, why? They said like, look, there's two categories. One is glam and one is auntie G Benji types. Where do we put you? And I was like, create it for me, man. I'm niche, dude. Like, I was a piece of the puzzle that didn't seem to fit anywhere. I don't know if I was born this way or not, but I've definitely been conditioned by my environment to not really give two hoots about what people uh, think about what I believe in. You just have to have this rock solid conviction within yourself that what you are doing is going to get you through to wherever you want to be. That's it. I'm Bani Jay, and this is how I shape my world.